Welcome to this segment of the Urban Okie. I am lucky enough to have artist Michelle Connect with me today, and I am so excited to talk to her because she is not just talented, she's done some pieces this past year that are very special to me and to my family. And I hope after you watch this piece, you will hop over to her page and take a look at her mosaic work because it's incredible. So Michelle is a member, an extended member of our family. And I was lucky to get her for the day because her husband is out gathering cows with my family. So that left us to kind of do some fun stuff today. So Michelle, welcome Thanks. to the ranch. Welcome back. And I want to talk to you a little bit about the pieces or the journey of your art. And this past year, you took a photo of probably the most visible horse on our ranch. People who know our ranch are aware of this special white horse named Smokey, and he is he is the carrier of the children, the guardian of the children. And you did a mosaic of him. Why did you pick him? Or tell me a little bit about that picture or the day that you decided you were going to do a mosaic of Smokey. Okay. Well, I, um, I've moved from doing garden pieces you know, for 10 years to really wanting to do animal portraiture horses, cows, dogs, things like that. And so, um, you know, there's abundant animals here for me to have for models. So the last time I was here, I walked around in the morning and took some pictures, and I just happened to get one of Smokey in the morning light, and the light was shining on his mane, and he just looked angelic. And so that was the inspiration. Um, I changed his name in the mosaic. His name is White Magic, because he looks pretty magical. He is. So. He's a very <laughs> magical horse. Where did that where did that mosaic end up? Where does it live now? Uh, Who I uh, first of all, that one has garnished a lot of interest. I mean, people really feel who he is in it, and that's what I try to do is capture the heart of that animal. Um, and so I had it displayed at Open Studios in San Luis Obispo this fall. I had a lot of comments on him, and then this one couple came and just stared at him, and I kind of had the feeling. And they, you know, talked to me about it, and then they said, well, we're going to go to lunch and talk about it. And then they came back and bought it. And so he lives in the, someone's house in Los Osos. In Los Osos. So whoever you are that now gets to look at that beautiful mosaic every day, I hope you love your white magic as much as we love our Smokey. So you don't just do big works, big mosaics. You also do jewelry and this piece that I'm wearing I'm really excited this is the first time I've worn it and I've waited about a month from the time I saw this piece you had it up maybe five minutes right on Facebook on Facebook <laughs> and I said you did a few and I said I want one and then I wrote you back and I said I changed my mind <laughs> I want two right so I am the owner of two out of three of these pieces and I'm kind of excited because there's a third one in the set, in the collection, and somebody out there is going to be the proud owner of that third piece. So you'll need to check uh, the Urban Oki Facebook page and you'll also need to go to Michelle Connect Mosaic Art and we will have instructions on how you can enter to win the third piece in this necklace collection. So you have other, besides this happens to be the Western collection, but you do a lot of other jewelry. So other what other kinds, yeah. kinds of stuff do you do? Um, just first of all, these are vintage um, New Orleans King's Cake prizes. That's what those little porcelain figurines are, those cowboys, and they're the only ones I've found so far, so they're kind of special. I also do, because I live on the coast, some more ocean theme with mermaids or with shells and kind of beachy, glass-looking scenes. Um, dragonflies, flowers, things like that. Oh, and Day of the Dead. I've done a few Day of the Dead. Popular Day of the Dead. Yeah. So for people who 
check out your Facebook page or happen upon a gallery that your stuff is in and love your stuff, if they wanted a piece, how would they go about getting a commission? Um, you know, commission process is contact me at, at right now. Uh, the commissions that I do are primarily animals. I do a lot of horse portraits. Uh, I started some pet portraits. So it starts with a photo, getting a good reference photo, and then I work with that photo till I make a pattern and kind of a color scheme uh, and get the approval and then go from there. So. And you have one big thing that just happened. You yes. just got into a pretty special place. Tell me about this new gallery that you just... Okay. Um, I'm excited. Uh, it's the first time I've announced it publicly. Yeah. Uh, but I got accepted to the Gallery Los Olivos in Los Olivos, California. Uh, it's kind of a hard one to get into. And then once you're juried in, sometimes you have a two-year wait for a spot to open up. But... Um, Things have lined up for me, and I was accepted, and they have a spot, so by the end of April, I'll have my work there. Your stuff will be yeah. in that gallery. Yeah. And where is that at exactly? So if you have people watching, they know exactly where they can make a beeline for and go check out your work. Uh, Los Olivos is in Santa Barbara County. It's uh, near San Inez, kind of north Santa Barbara County. And it's a beautiful little uh, town with a lot of winery tasting rooms, great restaurants, cute shops, you know, place to spend a Saturday, and one big gallery. <laughs> Perfect. So if you are interested in checking out Michelle's mosaic art, which is amazing, I'm a collector now, I'm officially a collector, once you own more than two pieces, you're a collector. You can check her out at one of the galleries in her area of Atascadero, Santa Inez, Los Olivos. Or you can check her out online at mconnectmosaic.com. That's M-K-N-E-C-H-T mosaic.com. So, Michelle, thank you for sitting down with me and spending some time at our ranch up here. And I can't wait to come down and visit you and see you too. <laughs> Your stuff in a gallery. It'll be amazing. Thank you. All right. All right. Thanks for tuning in to the Urban Oki. We'll see you next time.